Hello everybody and welcome back to Gustav's Tech. My name is Vlad and today we're going to be checking out how I actually record my audio. This is not my actual audio, I'm using the phone microphone because I want to be able to use the Tracer Screamer over there. You can't see it right now, but you will be very soon. Um, I, I used that and I had a review and it got like a 2000 crazy, crazy stuff views, right? Madman views uh, for a channel with like 80 subs because it's on my gaming channel, right? So that review got crazy views and a lot of people went out and bought it and they were like, yes, it's a great microphone, it sounds good, but it actually is quite quiet, which is ironic, it's called the Tracer Screamer. You probably have to scream at it. Um, but I don't scream at the Tracer Screamer, I actually talk in a pretty normal tone, if what I'm doing now is, now is called talking in a pretty normal tone. So you're on a tripod right now, I'm gonna just swing you around, we're just gonna take a look at this, right? So I just uh, sit at a normal distance, this is the Tracer Screamer, I'll just sit like this, and I will talk into the microphone, right? Very normal. Don't talk into the top of the microphone, talk into the side of the microphone. That's why you have mesh here and you don't have mesh up here. But then after I talk into the microphone, I actually go into Audacity. And we're gonna have to switch over to our normal gaming recording setup to actually be able to take a look at that. Right, so this is my normal setup when I'm actually recording my videos. So I have my microphone right here. I don't know if you can see it. Heck, now I can. Um, and then I have my audacity open in the background and I of course record myself with OBS um, So um, This is a sample. This is just my normal gaming video intro. So check that out. Hello everybody Welcome to Gustav's Games. My name is Vlad and we're playing some more Smite So it sounds kind of like that which is not the best but not the worst of course Now the first thing that you would want to do and the first thing that I always do when doing this is I actually go in Find a bit of quietness, right, like that, and then I go into effects, and then I noise reduction, get noise profile, and after you've gotten the noise profile from a bit of a silent part, you actually do control A to get everything, then you go effect, and you do noise reduction again, and you do OK. Then, you've removed all of that nasty, like, buzzing, sizzling, then we're gonna go ahead and select all of it, and we want to make it louder, but you don't want to make the whole thing louder, if you want to make everything louder, you could just amplify it, right? And you do amplify it if you want to like, uh, let's say you have a music track and you want to make it louder because you have to edit something with that music track. You would just amplify it. But in this case, it's voice, so we want to just have a compressor. Now the threshold you will move higher or lower depending on how loud or quiet your voice is through the microphone. I have it around 26, minus 26 decibels, um, and I found out works for me. Now what the compressor does, is as you can see it amplified our voice so it amplifies the places where there is sound but it leaves the places where there is no sound alone so you just get louder vocals and not louder like dog barking 50 kilometers away or like buzzing of the computer fans right that's what you want um, then I will usually go ahead and apply some equalization now I give myself a bit of a, a bit of a bass boost and I also give myself give. I also give myself a bit of a treble boost. Now that makes the uh, the lower frequencies and the higher frequencies pop a bit more, because you know it's a cheaper microphone. Then you might notice that we have all of these red bars. Now all these red bars look pretty scary. Uh, that's where the audio is clipping. It's actually louder than the recommended volume. It's not good. So we want to go in there and we want to apply a limiter. It's down there, a limiter, and you want to do a hard limit and limit to like minus two decibels and you'll see all that goes away. Right, so now one final thing that I usually do is I go in there and you may notice that yeah we have some um we have some background noise now. You may not hear it but it's there. Um to fix that you would usually go in here and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do noise reduction. We're gonna get the noise profile. We're gonna select everything again and do the noise reduction and remove the noise. Now, just to give it a little bit more, make it a bit more normal, make the quieter bits a bit louder, um, we're just gonna do a normalize, which kinda levels off the volume a bit more, and that's our end product, so now it sounds like this. Hello everybody, welcome out of Gustav's Games, my name is Vlad and we're playing some more Smite. Definitely a lot better than the, it sounded at the start, cue that one. Phone please shut up. You done? You done, okay. So, cue that voice from right at the start. Hello everybody, welcome out of Gustav's Games, my name is Vlad and we're playing some more Smite. See? It sounds better. Now it's not a, like, the humongous improvement, but it does sound better, it's cleaner, it doesn't have background noise, 
and just a bit more bassy and a bit more, you know, well defined. So I hope that has helped all of you who have been asking me, what are your audio settings? And my audio settings, let me just show you my sound settings. Here we go. Freaking. Would you like to re enable? No. Okay. So, recording, uh, microphone, and this is what I use. So I have my levels to 100 and your boost to zero. Don't use microphone boost, it's awful. And then I have all these enhancements disabled because they're just crap. Um, so yeah, everything's disabled. There you go. Um, so yeah, I hope that's helped you in your endless quest to find better audio for your videos because I've been on that quest myself and I think I've found a formula that works very well, at least right now. So um, I hope you learned something, I hope you found this helpful, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.